Now that you have learned about the different types of car seats, it's time to figure out how to install rear-facing and forward-facing car seats safely and tightly into your vehicle. You can either use the seat belt or you can use the lower anchors. First, let's learn about seat belts. To have a tight installation, you need to lock your seat belt so that it stays at a fixed length. Your seat belt will lock at the latch plate or at the retractor. To determine if your seat belt locks at the latch plate, pull upwards on the lap portion of a buckled seat belt. If the seat belt stays at a fixed length and does not slide through the latch plate, the seat belt locks at the latch plate. If the seat belt slides through the latch plate and does not stay at a fixed length, check to see if your seat belt locks at the retractor. Pull on the belt near the retractor. It'll go back and forth like this. Slowly and gently, pull it all the way out to the end. Now, if the belt does not go back and forth anymore, but only gets shorter, you have locked the seat belt at the retractor. One side note, don't jerk quickly on the seat belt as you may think the retractor has locked when it really has not. If your vehicle is older than 1996, it is possible that neither the latch plate nor the retractor will lock. In this case, you will need to read the instruction manual to learn how to add a locking clip. Only use the locking clip when your seat belt has both a lap and shoulder portion. When using a locking clip, place it less than one inch away from the latch plate. Some car seats have built-in lock-offs, which can be used instead of a locking clip or instead of a locking retractor. Read the instruction manual to find out how to use these built-in lock-offs. Now that you have learned about the most common seat belt types, let's move on to the lower anchors of the latch system. Since the year 2003, vehicles come equipped with lower anchors in the crack of the vehicle seat. A set of these lower anchors can usually be found in the right and left rear seating positions and sometimes in the center seating position. Some manufacturers do not allow you to use outer lower anchors for the center seating position, so always read your manual to ensure correct use. You can use either these lower anchors with the lower strap located on your car seat or the seat belt to install your car seat, but don't use both at the same time. Also, never attach two hooks into one vehicle lower anchor. As a general rule, as soon as the combined weight of your child plus the weight of their car seat meets or exceeds 65 pounds, you will need to discontinue using the lower anchors and use the seat belt instead. Check your car seat label and your vehicle owner's manual for more specific lower anchor weight limits. When you are using the seat belt, secure the lower anchor hooks to the car seat itself so they won't swing up and hit your child in a crash. Ready for another quiz? Does this seat belt lock at the latch plate or at the retractor? At the retractor.